Desiree and Chad Fires wanted to turn the former Callahan's bar into a coffee shop. After closing on the building in October, they immediately began renovating the old pub. But in March, when dine-in restrictions were put in place by Governor Gretchen Whitmer, things changed for the husband and wife. So we were in the process of construction and um, process of getting all the loans and everything through. And when COVID hit, the banks came back and said, you know, you need to prove to us that you can make this happen under the current state of the world. So we had to revise our business plans, revise the way we wanted to conduct business. And they did, and in the middle of a pandemic. While other Jackson County businesses were closing their doors, the fires were opening up Callahan's Cafe. And then you set up $5. They hoped to open by Memorial Day, but had to wait until August, meaning no cash flow for three months. After sinking their life savings into their business, a raging pandemic wasn't going to slow them. Are you a member of our rewards? We told the customers through our, our Facebook is, you know, you can order ahead, you can come use our mobile app, um, you can call ahead. We have uh, curbside service, we have car hop spots available. You can pull up, we'll go out, and with a handheld device, we'll take your order right from your car. For the husband and wife, they saw the challenges facing local businesses and took them in stride. We were already five months into our demolition and remodel at that point, and so we were committed. Um, there was really no backing out for us, so it was just a matter at that point of being flexible and making the accommodations that were necessary for us to be able to open. Craig Hatch, who oversees the Jackson Chamber of Commerce, has noticed just how much the community rallies around small businesses. The resilience is awesome. Um, you know, Jackson, Michigan is a community-minded, very resilient community. And we have a lot of, uh, from legislative leadership to community leaders to business leaders, uh, they're truly were born and raised here, and they, they truly have that you know pride of being a part of this community and want to continue to push to build this community. The co-owner of Farm Suds, a self-care shop in downtown Jackson, is also hoping to make her business an important part of the community despite the current challenges. A lot of our raw ingredients were being used for um, other things for uh, hand sanitizer or things so we couldn't get those and also we couldn't get a lot of um, plastic containers because they were being used for PPE which is still a problem right now. But believing that customers were ready for a store like hers where you can purchase soaps, balms and creams, she forged ahead. We didn't expect the response that we got from Jackson um, and we hope we're going to help make downtown Jackson what it's becoming. With the new year, small business owners are hoping the love of their community can carry them through. Joe Gebhardt, Fox 47 News, Jackson.